What's up, YouTube family? How are you doing? I guess most of us are staying home now. Working from home, just staying home, just to be safe. Well, let's talk about some things that we, we need to consider now as we are having this uh, pandemic all over the world. Uh, well, here in uh, Singapore, it was implemented uh, by the government. We call it Circuit Breaker. Circuit Breaker, I will tell you more. Well, so Circuit Breaker, um, it was implemented by the government last um, April 7th. The purpose of that one is to slow down the spread of the virus in the whole community or in the whole Singapore area. Because if you will not contain or let the people stay home, then there's really a big chance of being infected. Even though you're sometimes wearing masks or, you know, if um we can see the enemy the first thing that we need to consider with this circuit breaker that was implemented by the government we need to stay home or work from home if uh, your work requires you to stay home and you can do remote access by through online then you have to do that one but if your work belongs to the essential um, establishments like medical food transportation and communications or banking then you have no choice you have to be there but the workforce would be minimal during that time so um, for me i belong to the banking industry we have a team there but we need to split we have a split operation probably this week i'm working from home and next week probably i'll be going back to the office if you don't belong to that essential establishment then you have to stay home or some of them are no work no pay some yeah we just hope for this to end soon so the next thing that we need to consider is when buying your food when buying food like groceries or anything so if you're going to the grocery stores uh, it's still open but social distancing is still practiced before this um, circuit breaker was implemented um, we can still dine to the hawker centers or, or any uh, places there but we have to maintain one meter um, distance uh, one chair apart or one seat apart so uh, if you want to buy food now uh, buying food you need to have it as uh, takeout there's no more dining now that's what I've experienced yesterday when I bought some of my food so uh, when lining up as well when you're que queuing up to buy you have to maintain the one meter distance between customers okay? if you're lining here and there you need to keep a distance so it's one way of preventing the virus to easily spread to a different person the next thing we need to consider is if you're feeling unwell or feeling uh, sick you can go directly to your clinic or in emergency cases you can go to the hospital it's still open so it's open for service before you go directly to your um, respective clinics first and foremost you have to monitor yourself monitor your temperature it's like our our company monitors our um, temperature every nine o'clock and three o'clock in the afternoon so we have to submit our current readings um, temperature changes fluctuates from this one to this they have to monitor that one it's a requirement also okay so just uh, in, in any case you are not feeling well and uh, you need some medication you need to go to your clinic just to be able to be treated but worst comes to worst then you'll be sent to the hospital especially when you're having fever or cough okay? it's very crucial the next thing that we need to do and we need to consider if you really need to travel outside the house transportation is still available like the buses the trains um, taxis transportation is still available so what I've observed that there's in, inside the train there's also a uh, like a one meter distance so you need to check on the, uh, the seats there that has an X mark you're not allowed to sit on that one and the buses they have limited persons to ride a bus and also taxis you just have to be cautious there when you're taking the public transportation you just have to wear masks just uh, be cautious okay if you, there's no priority in, in your travel, like uh, you can have it delivered at your place and have it delivered rather than going outside. But for the meantime, if you don't have a choice, then just be 
cautious when you go out. Okay, the next part that I'm going to be sharing with you is if you're moving to a different house. Well, if you're moving to a different house, it's still allowed here in Singapore, especially if uh, you already have a schedule for you to transfer your residence. Like for me, uh, I'll be transferring next month, first week of May. I still have to continue because I already made a contract with the new residence. For my case, I'll just have to take the cab because um, I think all of my things can fit into the cab. But for those people who want to move and they have a lot of stuff to bring with them, then logistics is still open. Their services is still open and you can contact them and just uh, make sure that you have a minimal contact with them, like uh, physical contact and you know, just cover yourself, mask and sanitize, wash your hands after carrying those stuff. So I think that's for those cases you want to move house. The next thing you need to consider is based on the announcement, there are some banks that are open but they have a particular schedule. You just have to check your respective banks, what are their banking hours, okay? And ATM machines are available, you can withdraw money from there. Much better, you can do online transactions like uh, transfer money from this to this or online payments that would be advisable. Okay, just uh, make sure you also know the schedule of your particular bank. Overseas transfers, I haven't checked yet uh, because I usually transfer money from here to overseas, but I think it's still possible now. Okay, for us, like people who wants to go to church, church goers who want to go to places for worship, uh, as of the moment, it's closed. So um, there are no church masses like for us, for my church, it's uh, already been closed. And if you have a private meeting or private, private worship, then it's only limited to 10 people. It's not appropriate to not follow the instructions from the government so, because you might be um, penalized or so just follow them. Whatever the rules is 10, the maximum is 10. So private meetings and stuff. stuff. If you can do it online, then the better. Okay, for me, um, I attend Mass through YouTube or Facebook. There are some links for us to follow. So all you have to do is to click that link and it's a live coverage from in the Philippines and also here in Singapore. So we just have to attend through online, okay? For other places like uh, museums and other parks like Singapore Zoo, bird parks, places that uh, has a lot of people, large crowd, as of the moment, it's been closed so so that it would also prevent the virus from spreading from one person to another if you can avoid going to those places like large crowd then the better okay so i think there's not much gathering now because of the implementation of the government so concerts and stuff and uh, it's a no no now okay um exercise there are particular exercise area that you can go but still have to maintain uh, social distancing and here um, in our place um, the basketball court has been closed there's a barricade there that you cannot go in and also the playgrounds with the children so you just have to follow that one it's for our own good okay if you want to exercise you can just do your exercise here inside the room and it's just the same okay for me i do my karate here inside the the room together with the kids online sometimes i go outside but now um, I seldom go outside. I just stay inside the room to practice. Okay, you can do it. How about you? What are the things that you're following now during this times of uh, pandemic? Especially if you're in Singapore, what else are you following or what else are you doing now in order for you to follow this circuit breaker? You can type in the comment section below. But for my friends outside Singapore, Philippines, and India, in the US, or anywhere, what are the things that you're doing now? What are the things that uh, you've been practicing just to minimize the spread of virus? You can type in the comment section below. Just share it with me so that I also know. Okay? It's also good to know your part of this particular situation. I think those are the things that we need to consider when we are having this pandemic and this circuit breaker that we are having here in Singapore. It will last for until May 7th, 
or the second week of May. We just have to follow this one. This is for us to minimize the uh, spread of the virus. As of the moment, we don't have anything to do. Uh, we just have to continue to pray and I, we will hope that this situation, this pandemic will be over soon and we can continue to live a normal life. And whatever God you have there, you just have to pray and um, ask for help so that this pandemic will stop soon. And also to all my friends who are watching, if you want to follow me on my Instagram account, you can click on that one and can go to my Facebook. The other night I broadcasted live with worship songs or any songs. I also have some popular songs when I try to play live performance there. So you can try to check on that. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to click on the like like button. And if you want to be notified by upcoming videos, you can go ahead and click on the notification bell. Alright? And those of you who are watching, I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hope to see you next time. Thank you so much. See you in the next vlog. Bye-bye.